What's up guys, an average origamist here, and in this video we are going to be making an owl. So this one I used the wrong paper, this paper is way too thick and it, and it wasn't able to balance on, uh, on this tree. So that's what we're making though, we're making an owl that sits on a tree. So let's make the owl. First, fold it in half, uh, white side up, fold it in half both ways. I already did that. That's easy though. Uh, next, uh, color side up. And again, fold it in half both ways, only this time diagonally. All right, next, white side up, push in the center and collapse like this. Two flaps, two, two flaps should be on each side. All right. Um, make the make this the, make the point that has no flaps. This point has flaps. This point does not have flaps. Uh, make that face away from you. Okay. Uh, next, fold this edge and this edge into the center, like this. Only the top one. Okay. Now, fold this point, this whole flap, down along this uh, edge, these edges, rather. Like that. Now, unfold everything. Um, last three steps, not everything. That would not be good. Take this flap and fold it use along this crease, like this. Okay, it's not going to lay flat. Uh, next, inverse, inverse these top two folds. And it will lay flat once you do that. Like this. Okay, and do this to the other side. So fold these flaps in. Fold this point down. Fold the top flap up along the fold we just made. Inverse the two folds here. And bam. Got a bird base. Okay. Bird base done. So you have this. Make sure the two like wings kind of are facing up, facing away from you. First step, fold them both down like this. Next step, uh, next step, zoom the camera in. All right, next step, take the the top two flaps, the top two flaps, and fold this edge into the center. Fold and do the same to the other side. Now, do the same to the back. Okay, flip it back over. Um, unfold only the top two, do not unfold the back two, and fold this point down to about here. There's no reference, so that's awesome, um, but this is the nose, so make it as big as you want. Now fold it back up to, again, no reference, to about here, so that it's overlapping quite a bit. Um, next, we are going to Fold this edge to the center, and this edge is going to go up because of it. So fold this edge to the center, like this, and then this edge is going to want to go up. So you get that. And do the same to the other side. I guess it's kind of like a squash fold. You want to get technical. All right, the nose is done. Now fold this flap up, fold the point, fold this point to the center, and fold it back down. Now fold this whole flap along the center crease like this. Uh, next we are inside reverse folding using pre-existing creases actually, well sort of.
like this and do the same to the other side. Okay. Next, we are going to look at this edge and this top edge. Fold this under and make sure the crease is parallel to the edge. So like this. Again, no reference. <laughs> it should look exactly like that. And then do the same to the other side. This step is kind of tough, but not really. This whole thing is pretty easy. The nose was easily the toughest part. Okay, now we have the body, that's done. Uh, next, we are going to fold up the two ears. So open this up and inside reverse fold. Make sure, one, make sure you go all the way to this point like this, and two, that the bottom is above the midsection. So let's do that to the other side now. Try to try to fold it the same uh, amount. All right, you got the two ears. I did not fold it the same amount. Gives a character though. Who cares? Uh, one ear is bigger. We'll name this guy Big Ear. <laughs> All right. Uh, next, we're going to fold the leg. <laughs> it only has one leg. This is very important. Do not mess this part up. Like, don't make make sure these next folds are crisp. So fold the leg to the nose, maybe a little bit past it, like this. Now, fold it back down, but make sure the fold is above the midsection of the body. That is very important. So right about there. That's, that's pretty good. Okay, next, flip her over. Oh, we're going to lock the leg in now, so take this top edge and fold it to the center as far as possible. But don't like rip the paper. Same thing to the other side. Just like that. Flip her back over. And the last step is to fold down the ears. So let's do that. Uh, fold them inside reverse, fold them however you want. It, is up to you. I'm gonna do this. All right, and we're done. The owl is finished. Let me show you how to make the tree. First step, white set up. Uh, fold in half diagonally. Let me zoom out a little bit. Sorry about that wire. There we go. All right, unfold. Fold two edges in like this. Fold two edges in again. Fold these two edges into the center. Sensing a pattern here. It's going to get even worse. Uh, do the same exact thing, these two edges, into the center. All right, uh, now, fold, make a crease from this point to this point, like this. There we go. Uh, now we're going to rabbit your fold just wherever you want, but how about right about this area? Rabbit your fold here. If you don't know what that is, it's basically making a triangle of folds like this. You end up with this. Okay? And close the whole thing.
Oops. All right, so now you have a little like stick and branch. Let's see if it balances on this tree, guys. So, tree's up. I'm going to carefully set the owl down. Guys, I think it's working. Yes, success. There it is, guys. Oh, I'm zoomed in a lot there. The owl on a tree branch. This is a pretty cool project, I have to admit. Although it's simple, uh, the result is it's pretty cute. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, like and subscribe. Like the video if you liked it, and subscribe for more if you want to see more origami videos. T tutorials, rather. Alright guys, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys later.